Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lordis Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Nine of Wands reversed, followed then by the King of Cups in the upright. And next we have the Four of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the Knight of Wands in the upright. And lastly, we have the Ten of Wands in the upright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Virgo, for your overall energy, you have that of the Nine of Wands in the reverse position. The Nine of Wands upright, this is the Wounded Warrior card. This card comes up when we have fought a lot of battles and a lot of challenges in a particular situation, and we're sort of hitting the end point. Um, we're, we're ready to fight another day if we should have to, but really, uh, it's not necessary that we do and when the card is inverted like this this can point to peacetime so uh, if you're worried about having to deal with any challenges at the present moment um, perhaps um, you will not be having to deal with that perhaps people are leaving Virgo in peace this week which would be very nice coming right off the hop we have major no not major arcana um, a court card, King of Cups in the upright position. This seems to come up a lot for Virgo lately. King of Cups in the upright is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. The King of Cups is somebody who's very emotionally stable, emotionally sound. Uh, this is a good person to lean on, very compassionate understanding in terms of the emotion. This could even be you, Virgo, perhaps embodying the energies of the King of Cups, feeling very emotionally mature, emotionally sound, emotionally stable, standing on strong emotional ground. Um, or this could be someone, this could represent a family member, a friend, or a spouse, or a, a boyfriend, girlfriend, what have you. This person could be your emotional rock this week, coming right off the hop. And then we have next the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. Four of Pentacles in the upright position can represent holding on too tightly to um, material things. This is the little happy hoarder card I call him. Uh, this can also point to holding on too tightly to belief systems, uh, holding on really tightly to uh, finances, maybe having to save for um, a, an event, for a trip or for a, a vehicle or for a home, down payment on a home for whatever. Uh, is the situation but when the card is inverted like this this can represent financial situations re uh, turning for the better for any of you who have been perhaps uh, having to put money away for something perhaps that you know item or trip or what have you has been already purchased so now things are better on the financial front for you for others of you like I said it could be representing uh, no longer holding on to belief systems that were not serving you. So moving on towards the weekend, we have Pajama Man here, uh, the Knight of Wands in the upright position. The Knight of Wands, this is uh, Quicksilver, it comes in very quickly. Um, this time we have Fire Energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Um, the Knight of Wands comes in very quickly with an offer. Now for some of you, this could be an offer of... Uh, of adventure for others of you it could definitely a passion be a passionate offer maybe a suitor's coming on the scene just sort of knight of wands though comes in very quickly um he can come out of nowhere sometimes uh, you didn't even see him coming uh for some of you yes this could be a suitor coming on board here uh offering to take you out take you on an adventure uh do something passionate fun exciting even travel knight of wands does govern travel as well but say, for example, this could be an offer of uh, a, an exciting or passionate new career or job situation, could be offering that. Could be uh, putting an offer on your home if it's up for sale or your vehicle or something that you're trying to sell. But remember, he comes in very quickly. He doesn't give you a lot, a lot of time to deliberate on the situation. But yes, there is an offer coming towards you, but it could prove to be a bit of a burden because the last card we have here is the Ten of Wands in the upright position. Tens generally point to the endings of a situation, but the Ten of Wands can sometimes uh, 
point to a burden, or maybe too many worries about a situation. Maybe some of you, this impetuous person has shown up on the scene and, and wants you to, uh, you know, travel or do something and spur the moment. And perhaps um, it's leaving you feeling overburdened that all these things you have to do in order to be able to travel or to do the things you want to do. Uh, for others of you, you could just be overburdened by um, perhaps uh, co-workers are, are uh, dumping too many responsibilities on you. For others of you, it could be family members or friends just uh, asking you to help them out. Virgo, you guys are very much in servitude. You're always trying to help people. But, you know, be careful with this energy because it could just prove to be too much for you. Um, in this case, I always recommend that you delegate whatever you can. Uh, say no to co-workers or friends or family members that are putting too much uh, on your plate. So that is your reading and in closing, I will pull you an extra oracle card here to see what else Spirit wants you to know. And what do we have here for you, Virgo? <laughs> Workaholic. Oh, are you working too much? Is this coworkers putting too much pressure on you? Well, if that's the case, you know what to do say no or delegate. <laughs> so that is your reading, Virgo. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.